Elias off last August, an early morning murder rocked the Antlers community. 95-year-old Gladys Land was beaten to death in her own home, and there were no leads in the case. Until now, News 12's Austin Hedgecock spoke with law enforcement about what went down today and how they found the suspect. On August 29th, 2023, police were called to a home invasion in Antlers, Oklahoma. They found two women, 95-year-old Gladys Land and her daughter, 73-year-old Brenda Van Beber, beaten and seriously injured. Both were rushed to the hospital. Gladys Land died from her injuries. Van Beber was released, but needed extensive therapy, long after leaving the hospital. Police ruled the incident a burglary, though nothing was taken from the home. When asked if her mother had any enemies, Van Beber told News 12, no way. No, she did not. She fixed, um, like, muffins, cookies, once a month for the garbage man and the postmaster. There were no major breaks in the case for 11 months. But then, Pushmataha County Sheriff B.J. Hedgecock got a phone call. After an extensive investigation using forensic evidence, the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation said they had their man. 20-year-old Christopher Kofelt was arrested Wednesday and charged with murder, first-degree burglary, and assault and battery. The investigation found no previous connection between Kofelt and the victims. I'm glad it's over with. I, mean, you know, I hate it took so long, but you know, forensics, is, it takes a little while doing. I'm glad they, they finally got to the person that did it and everybody can be assured that you know he's in custody now. After this tragedy, Sheriff Hedgecock says there are ways to make your home more secure. The surveillance cameras, you know, is, is a big asset, you know, and, uh, you know, lock everything up. But at least in this case, the sheriff says folks in Antlers can rest easier with a suspect behind bars. In Antlers, Austin Hedgecoth, News 12.